Welcome back YouTubers to Crappie Fishing with Raymond. Been adding some accessories to the boat this off season. The lakes are still pretty iced over, so I've had some time to add some accessories to the boat. One thing I've been looking for is actually a rod transport rack of some type, and I wanted it to mount to my tracker versa track system on the side of the boat. Uh, the option I've come up with is the Millennium Marine transport rack R300. And here's what it looks like on the tracker. Here's what it looks like coming down the other side. All right, when I was looking for a rod rack, I wanted something that wouldn't interfere with my port console here. And that's where I came up with this R300. As you can tell, it's in the number seven slot. I still have the number eight, which it would interfere with this rod. But with the adjustments you have, you can slide it up more and give you actually some more room if you wanted to use the number eight slot. So if you're carrying eight rods with you, you would have enough room to squeeze it in there. All right, guys, here's everything that you kind of get in the box. I still got the other mount still on the VersaTrack. Um, you get a directions, everything's aluminum. You get all stainless steel hardware. And this piece actually comes, it's not actually on the rack when it comes. There is four holes, one, two, three, four. So you can mount this bracket wherever you want. So if you want to put it here in the middle or at the end, and that will either make your arm, if it's down here in the bottom, your rack part will be sticking up higher. I have mine in the middle, and if you put it on the top, it makes the rack sit lower down on the support arms, as you can see here. So... Um, everything went together pretty straightforward. I'm going to show you how I did mine to get on the verse, Versa track. These are the plates that will actually bolt to your floor if that's what you want. And then you got your screws that come with it. And then these plates would be permanently mounted to your deck. And then you would have these screws here would actually mount like that like that all right guys here's the extra hardware that I purchased um, I already got one bracket on first thing you do is I went and got flex tape put on the back of the mounting bracket so it wouldn't scratch the side of the boat and have a tighter fit and no vibration metal on metal sound next I went and also got Lowe's Stainless steel machine bolt. It's a quarter, um, quarter thread, one inch. I got four of them, and they actually fit in the Versa track here. And then they'll slide down to wherever you're going to have your bracket. I had four of them, and then I also got eight locking stainless steel washers and I'll show you where the other four go here in a little bit then I also got four quarter stainless steel nuts to mount all this up these wing nuts plastic wing nuts I'll show you what they're for here in a second so I'm going to mount this up real quick all right guys Let's put these parts together. This just slides in. There's no threads in this one. There is like a compression spring that keeps pressure on both of these to help keep this bolt from pushing out. And this part actually has your threads. So, I'll tighten this down. And 
kind of just loosely have it because we're going to need to adjust it to line it up with the other one. On the back side, there's actually a nylon knot, lock nut that came with the kit, but I wanted to leave mine where I could take this off if I wanted to without having a wrench set. So I just bought an extra lock washer and these thumb screws at Lowe's. And it just gives you extra tightness to keep this from backing out. All right. Now we're going to mount this to your mounting bracket. Once again, this just slides in. There's no threads. There is another spring in there to keep pressure on both these pieces of aluminum to keep this kind of from backing out. And then once you get into the bracket, the threads are actually on this backside bracket. So we'll just tighten it up real quick. And then also here on the back side is where I'll put another lock washer and then these plastic wing nuts that I got from Lowe's just to give it a little bit extra tightness. That is really solid. Um, one thing, like I said, I liked about this one is it does go up and down to get your rods up higher if you need to. You can loosen the wing nut up now and back that off the threads, and then you can retighten it. And you can lean this back some or forward. Um, another option that's nice, move this over. If you don't want to take these off the boat, you could lean them all the way in and just lean them into the boat, which I'll take mine off when I'm not using them. But all in all, I'm very happy with the product so far. I haven't had a chance to get it out on the water and actually see it work. I'll leave a description below on the extra parts that I bought at Lowe's to actually mount it to the VersaTrack. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If there's anything else you guys would like to see, put it in the comments down below. I'll leave a description of everything that I added to the kit to add it to the Tracker VersaTrack system. The Millennium Marine R300 rod transport rack. Pretty nice accessory put on your boat. Stay tuned.